this mayonnaise and I think ketchup, which is kind of weird. I've never seen ketchup on a chicken tender sandwich. But um, I've also got crinkle cut fries here that are sea. Try the burger. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's bomb. Wow, it's good. Um, right away, off the bat, I'm getting Freddy's vibes. If you guys don't know Freddy's, it's a very popular like hamburger uh, chain <clears throat> I don't think we have any in California if we do it's like nowhere near me It has like that Freddy's look to it. I think they got the idea from Freddy's 100% that's what it looks like That's some good taste buds, not gonna lie. Oh man. So I got the, you can see the chicken sandwich here. Um, uh, can you see? I don't know how to say it. The pickles, mayonnaise, and then there's some kind of spicy sauce. I mean, it looks decent. Oh, you got a spicy? Yeah, spicy chicken. Oh shit. Mine got pickle, mayonnaise, and onion. I'm only three pickles. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Put it right here. Oh. Oh. There's a chicken sandwich. Um. It's a little bit dry. That chicken sandwich is good. Not spicy though. It's not. Spicy chicken sandwich, so, no spicy. Yeah, so probably like a five out of ten because it's not to my spice liking. But you know, it's still good. Huh. Try that beef burger. I got one. You want to try this chicken oh. sandwich? It's got all the goodies in it. I didn't mean to get these fries, I just wanted normal fries. But they're pretty good, they're surprisingly good. they do this yeah really prefer the loaded one over the plane Whoa. Sometimes you gotta tame the outer edges. Do this again. No, probably not. Save that for later. 10. Two out of 10. Beast style fries. Caramelized onions, pickles, mayo, ketchup, and mustard. All the toppings. These beast fries look crazy though. It's like only a beast would eat this. Do it. There's too many onions. Loaded crazy fries, nine out of 10. Mr. Beast fries, one out of 10. And two chicken sandwiches. We got a plain one and then Nashville hot. I love Nashville hot. Good flavor on this, it's not spicy. I'll give it a nine out of 10, it needs to be hotter. Seven out of 10, super spicy. Fries, zero out of 10. Fries, two out of 10. Good job guys, I think you did. Oh, wrong in. It's a good burger. It's fully cooked through, Mr. Beast. 
10 out of 10. Just needs tomato. Two out of 10. Don't like raw onion. I taste like, but let's try it. A plain cheeseburger? You don't need all that mumbo jumbo. I see you, Chandler. I'll give it a six out of 10. Chandler, zero out of 10. Then and looks like a pile of fries on top. That one's good, very bacony, but it needs ketchup. Chris, four out of 10, the best of the burgers. Chris, nine out of 10. It's a little unnecessary with the french fries. And shit, I mean, you did give me that girlfriend and all, but when are you gonna make me stickers? <laughs> <laughs> Aesthetically, they look fantastic. Look at how greasy yeah. and, and sloppy yeah, it looks, yeah. just the way I like a burger. Yeah. So this is the B-style one. It's double burger with pickles, mayo. This actually looks like a competitor for Shake Shack. That's all right, fuck it. Wait, is that, that B-style yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. Right, three, two, one. My he's on to something here. What can't this dude do right? That's now? incredible. What can't this <laughs> That's like an eight and a half. Eight and a half out of 10. That's that's a great burger. What the fuck? How did he do that? How did he do that? How did he do that? What is this? Right. Oh my oh. God. It's like a Mr. Beast cheeseburger, but on French fries. Oh God. These are very good. How does he do these that? Are, these are very good. What the fuck? In the year 2020, you can't make assumptions about people, and I will say this one thing that I don't like, he's, he's making an assumption on all of this that people are all ketchup people. But obviously you could edit that out because you're buying from Postmates, so you could say no pickles, okay. no ketchup, okay. whatever. Yeah. I don't really like ketchup on my bread. That's like, okay, so fuck you. Facts, I get it, I'm an American, I should put ketchup. So maybe yeah. he's just making an assumption that everybody that's eating is an American. Well, so I, I, I'd make the assumption that, and if you're a human, and you're alive. <laughs> Bro, this, this kid said my name 100,000 times. Now he's making world quality class, top tier burgers. How is this possible? What can he do? Same can be said about you, man. A couple years ago, you were dabbing at the Olympics. Now you're fighting Floyd Mayweather, eating cheeseburgers. Guess we're all growing up. I'm going to go for a jog. <laughs> Thanks, man. What are you going to call it? I'm gonna give it an eight flat. I give it an eight flat. More people are gonna be pissed off about eight flat. More people are gonna be pissed off about this because I'm putting Mr. Beast burgers above In N Out on my list. Uh, as you guys can tell, I've got the list on my back. That's how seriously I take this. My, my chicken sandwich only has a chicken. Yeah, he, he wanted like that. He wanted it like that. Ben Cox, wish this was on. Like Both of them are like that. This is like that too. Is that chicken here? Yeah. Is there a burger? <laughs> yeah, the challenge style. Yeah, the challenge. Three, two, one. Mm. Mm. It's not that bad, actually. I like it. It tastes like how I thought it would taste. You know what I mean? Like a food truck burger. Yeah, it's like good. good. Burger that I would that I would get like outside like a sporting event. It's a lot of bun, but it don't taste like that much bun. Mm. <laughs> Oh, damn. I just, took, I just took straight bun. I'm talking about that shit was only bread. <laughs> no, you can't even Don't see me. through the buns here. The buns are very, very big. What's that? What's that's, that? That's a bun gap. <laughs> eat the bun. This is a place I would just eat. If, I was, if it was close by to my house, like, I'd literally just go to that if I was hungry sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Try to eat a little bit, a lot of bun burger. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a good amount of meat in here. Pause. Yeah, I wonder how long it's gonna be in this high demand for because like we waited all day just to get this. So what you waited for to get it? No, no, no. I wouldn't wait for any food for that long unless it was like I mean it tastes like a regular burger. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It tastes like a regular burger. I will say, their beef is very, I mean, they, they didn't skim out on their beef. It's not like McDonald's. They did not skim out on this. See, look. It is a little red. And it's not focusing. There you go. Mr. Beast Burger. Low key, I was hoping that maybe perhaps in the bag, because if you've seen the video, I'll link it below after the live. If you've seen the video, they hand out, of course, because it's Mr. Beast, they hand out money. So I'm like, maybe, <laughs> maybe with my burger, there, there will come a wad of cash or some AirPods or iPad. You will never know. It's Mr. Beast, okay? It's. That's actually not awful like the crunch to it i kind of want you to take a piece of the chicken because the crunch is nice and the season's not that bad it's a dry rub it's definitely not chick-fil-a level well, i'll tell you that i wouldn't think so it's definitely i'd say it's like a you know how i've had that tear list of like fast food mcdonald's um wendy's and that stuff and then five guys is like a step above that and then it's restaurant mm -hmm. this would be like below five guys but above the fast food but it's not a burger all right, what would you rate it? Hmm. Are you in too deep? Seven out of 10. Seven. All right. I mean, I'll start off right off the bat. 
That doesn't the look. What the fuck is that? It's, uh, it's like. It's in a, they, yeah, they just <laughs> tossed it in a bag. Bro, they fucking went to Sticker Guru and printed these out for like 10 They definitely did. And just slapped it on. As a fry? What you thinking? It definitely has spice to it. Yeah, I got the season on it. I mean, you couldn't get it not on it through Grubhub. So I might take a bite. Yeah, it seems like. Does it look like a Five Guys to you? No, definitely no. not a Five Guys. Let's get some. It seems like in the middle of McDonald's and Five Guys. That's what I said, yeah. Yeah, right? Was that wrong? Maybe. It's just average. It's average? What would you give it out of 10? It's just average. What would you give it out of 10? Six and a half. Six and a half? Yeah. Okay. I feel like- When you should have handed me the money, I'd have told him to donate it because that's just how I am. Because he's always giving free stuff out, man, helping everybody out. So we got here, man. Let's open this beauty up. And I don't know, it's just something about Mr. Beast, man. It reminds me of myself. A lot of people are probably like, what would you mean? You never had a chance to do it, I know, because I've been broke. But one day, one day you'll see. This thing actually look pretty crazy. It's all crazy. That's the way a burger's supposed to be. Pickles on the bottom. Mm. I got a triple, guys. I'm feeling real fat. So let me get a triple. Oh. But, what I was saying, I would have really loved to get a chance to go to like a Mr. Beast burger. Why he was that? I don't know, I just really one day. A burger. That looks like mustard. We also have pickles, onion, the meat. Look at all that sauce. Mmm. This right here is like my type of burger. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. The crunch of the pickles, y'all, this is freaking good. I love it. It's so freaking good. So far, this is one. Okay, you smell dumb good, boo. Oh. Oh. Oh, you naughty. Oh, sniggly. Oh, this joint right here look crazy. Come on, y'all, soft bun action in the building. Got ketchup. We got seared up patty game proper and strong. We got the bacon that chooses never to be fake and I like my bacon extra crisp, but this bacon right here look dumb flavorful. Now I gotta go ahead and get this bite of the Mr. Beast style burger. Cause you know, this is true of the beast. Look at that Ickle Pickle popping on a handstand, laying low though. Laying low though for show though. Woo, let's get all oh, the things smell stupid good too, son. Oh, I smell the grill chill. I said I smell the grill chill. I said, shut up. Let's flip this thing upside down for flavor. Come in. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. Watch as this man's eyes close. That's what happens when you take a bite out of bliss. When you have that soft bun action at SBA. Just nothing but stupid, dumb, wild flavor. That bacon kick up. You got that donkey kick on the bacon. That bacon been cooked up. Hold up, come here bacon. Whoa, whoa. Um, hold on, I think I might have to go in for like a third bite. Whatever. This is actually like really good. It just tastes like a typical like double cheeseburger, but it has like some sort of like smoky flavor. It's really good, but I'm gonna give it like an eight out of 10. It's like not the best burger that I've ever had. You guys have to try this. Uh, if you guys. Let's try out the old beef style. Don't care for pickle. Don't like that. Burger's really good. Smaller than I thought it would be. But tasty.
Oh, so far a little bit more. So good. I like the beach style so far a little bit more. Can you give me a napkin? This is whatever. No matter. This one, chicken salad, whatever. McDonald's killing it, chicken salad. That's, yeah, I don't like that. All right, let's try the Mr. Beast Burger. We didn't put no bacon in there. I ain't gonna lie, this is better than Burger King Burger, Burger McDonald's. It tastes like five guys, not cut. I get about, I guess about six out of ten. Out of a fairly decent sized bun, and again, talking about that again, look at that. The quality is nice on this. It's nice and soft. It really hugs everything together. It's really meant more for the burgers as it's supposed to be. And as we flip it up here, a decent amount of mayo, the pickles on the inside, the shredded lettuce, it is what it is. Hopefully we'll see like a standard, like a larger chicken patty. And I would love to see something like that actually instead of this. But for what this is, this is actually not too bad. So let's go for a couple of quick more bites on this one. I think you get the point right now, right? It's all right. Hmm. I do like the pickle though. The pickles are actually pretty decent there. Considering the quality of these, not the super thick cut that you're expecting. Just kind of keep it focused there. But for what they are, pretty decent. A nice crunch too. But again, I keep coming back to it. I really wish I had like a standard chicken patty in here, just a larger one, because I think a lot of people would expect that. Considering it's a crispy chicken tender sandwich, I mean, it does say it in the title, so naturally you're gonna be getting tenders, that's what you're expecting. But I would like to see at some point a much thicker piece of chicken. You know, I may have to do that hotter Nashville chicken sandwich they have on the menu. It just is chicken. Oh, it's just chicken. Okay. But it's, yeah, I really think it was just chicken tender sandwich. No pickles. Yes, pickles. All right, um, you can bite that side. It doesn't look like it has pickles okay. on that side. Please, because I love chicken sandwiches, by the way. <laughs> what? It's not pink. Oh, no, okay, okay. Please, no pickles, please, no pickles. Okay. I like it. Mmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. The chicken's good. Mm-hmm. I don't even think the burger's cooked all the way. I'm not even joking. Are you serious? Yeah. But what kind of burger is it? Is it some one that you can... It's pink. It's pink in the inside. And it's like, not, not a... Not pink. It's not a like steak burger? Like solid pink. It's pink like yeah, I mushy see it. pink. Yeah, I see that too. You want to take a bite on the end? Because the end is kind of cooked. Now, this is a steak burger, right? So it's supposed to be cooked. I don't... I'm not going to take the risk, but if you want to take a... If you run a risk taking a bite, I don't think it's a good, I don't think it's a good burger. Yeah, definitely not. This is mushy and, yeah. I just wipe my hands the on inside. the sound blanket. And it's like gross and... Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think the burger is very uh, flavorful either. It's oh, it's flavorful. It's just full of, it's full of like mustard. Like that's the flavor. Seasoning the burger seasoned really well. Um... It's, it's, it tastes like, you know, if you go somewhere and get it off of just like a, a grill, it's a, it's, I mean, they're smash burgers, so it's just smash beef. Um, there's ketchup and mayo on here, I think.
a good burger. That's a, that's a decent burger. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That's a decent burger. Once again, I'm, I'm not sure if the price justifies it though, because you know, I've had better burgers. Like I could go to a place like Five Guys and get a burger that is like way better quality for way, way, way more French fries for the same amount of money. And I'm really good. Okay, I feel like a lot of research went into that. Enough talking, let me taste it. Now Cassie made a note when she opened this. This is the one that was supposed to have a pile of French fries inside of it. There were three singular French fries inside. Three singular, three French fries inside. This is very good. The beef is actually, I wouldn't say like Five Guys level, but definitely like better than McDonald's or Burger King. We ordered both types of fries, the plain fries, which have like- Look, there's like uh, like three shreds of lettuce. For $7, they couldn't load it up with lettuce at, at bare minimum? Bruh. Like, and it's, and the thing is, this is, it's cold. I honestly, I, I don't know. Like, this is, look how depressing that is. Two mini chicken tenders on a bun for $7. You gotta be kidding me. To him, of course, let's do it. Mmm, smash burger, wow, that's nice. The caramelized salty edges around this burger are off the chart, guys. That is absolutely delicious. It's not the juiciest burger, but the most flavor is coming from everything around this here. Those edges, the quality of the beef are solid. I haven't even got to the pickles just yet, but still banging. Let's keep going, this is pretty awesome. Mmm, mm-hmm. There's something about a burger like this. It's not trying to be the prettiest burger out there, but the flavor that it's delivering is off the chart. And that soft bun, I gotta say again, is doing a very nice job holding it together. Admittedly, it's a little on the smash side, as you can see, no pun intended, the smash burger. But again, nice quality, guys. This is just a very, very tasty, slightly overly salty type of beef that this has got, but the flavor is amazing. And the diced onions that I'm getting also, very nice situation, an additional crunch that it's adding, the pickle, even the mayo, I'm not really tasting too much because everything is kind of soaked into it, but it's kind of a gluttonously tasty cheeseburger, guys. Really, really tasty. Let's keep going. Mmm. Let's keep going in with the close-ups because you can never get too much of this stuff here. And as you can see, nice beefy goodness, guys. And again, with those diced onions on the bottom, it's a nice combination. Believe it or not, I am not tasting any ketchup or mustard because of how strong the flavor is on the beef and the cheese. And honestly, what you got like a pickle in there and whatnot. All right, beautiful. And then you got uh, Chris's burger, the one with the fries and whatnot. Hmm. You guys want me to do a taste test of these bad boys? Hmm, let's try this one out. Oh my goodness, this is the best burger I've ever had in my life, Mr. Beast Burger. Oh my, it was like a waterfall, All right, walk like rainbows. This right here, the Chris Burger, oh my yike. Better than any Italian food I have in my life. But this one, I'm not gonna lie, this was dog shit. All right, Mr. Beast, I gave you food a shout out. Uh, you can send 100K uh, on my page.